In this video, I'd like to take you inside some of my sketchbooks and show you some of the pages I've created that are black and white and just share the materials I've used to create them. This is a sketchbook from last year when I wasn't living at home. We had a flood in our house and had to move out for half the year. So I had a really pared back number of art materials, um, a sketchbook and a few pens. And I really lent into and enjoyed using just a few black and white materials. And it helped me to explore mark making. It helped me to think about composition. Just having a few simple materials just allowed me to, you know, um, work without all of the decisions that you have to make when you are using colour. So I was forced to <laughs> make pages in black and white because of necessity. I only had a few art materials, but it reminded me about how powerful black and white can be together. So obviously it's the, the two colors of the spectrum that have the largest value difference. So um, I really find that black and white pages can look particularly striking because there's such a high contrast. Um, and that's something that I enjoy about it. So you can see here that these pages are basically, there's scribbles and shapes, and I'm thinking about these big kind of sweeping semicircles and the ways I can use pen to create different marks, different effects, different kind of speeds. So that's one sketchbook. Here is another one where I'm using pen and this piece here is a photocopy of a previous sketchbook but the rest of it is basically two pens and the same here felt tip pen and this piece is a photocopy so I often will draw in my sketchbook and then stick something over it add something in for me I like the juxtaposition of drawn elements with another kind of added element. I think um, I kind of quite, quite like that complexity and maybe the slight quirkiness as well in terms of mixing the lines. It also means I can stick stuff over things I don't like. It is sort of freedom in terms of making. So in terms of how I made these pages, it was really just using a few simple materials. So let me show you the materials. So most of my black and white pages, for example this one here, is mostly made with one pen and it's a Pentel pocket brush pen and it's a, it's just a felt tip brush pen that uses refills so a kind of Indian ink, and it's basically colouring in. So I've kind of drawn all this here with just one pen. And it's the pen that I probably use the most. Um, and it's just one that I particularly like. Um, so all of these pages have just been made with this pen and possibly a fine liner pen as well. Yes, so, I tend to use a Micron uh, Pigma fine liner pen. This is an 05. So those two pens, I would say, are have made the majority of uh, my black and white pages. And now here we've got added in a, some white in terms of a white pen. And I have to say, I get asked so many questions about white pens because I think everyone struggles with white pen. Everyone who, who loves the effect of a white pen is looking for the perfect white pen. And I was actually going to show you um, some of the white pens I use and they don't work, <laughs> which fairly much <laughs> is why they're frustrating. So I, I, there are four pen, white pens that I tend to use in rotation. And I have to say, for me, none of them are absolutely perfect. I think there might be an issue with white ink generally. It quite often clogs up, skips, dries up 
glues up. But the pens I use most frequently are a Jelly Roll 10, and that made these kind of fine lines here. A Monito All For One acrylic pen, a Posca Uni white pen, and a Uniball Signo Broad. So those are the four white pens that I tend to have on rotation. And basically I tend to use whichever one works at the time. And um, white pens can work really differently depending on what you are drawing over. And often they work much better if you're drawing over something like an acrylic paint or an Indian ink. But sometimes if you're going over sort of watercolour or something water-based, they can react differently. So that is also something to factor in when you're using a white pen. These pages here, this page here, this page and this page are fairly much nearly all drawn with this one felt tip pen. And maybe a little bit of the fine liner here, just on this line. And then what I've done... So I've drawn it, but then I've added in some elements from a drawing I cut up. So some collage pieces. So I often take little pieces of experiments or things that I have done and haven't quite worked or abandoned paintings and drawings and I reutilize them and I stick them into my sketchbook and into my drawings and I personally just like that kind of slight discordant slightly quirky effect from sticking something unusual in so something that um just adds a different quality to the page for me. And I find it's a really freeing way of making art because A, I'm reusing <laughs> the things that haven't worked out, so it lowers the pressure in that way. And secondly, if there's something that I want to cover up in my sketchbook, I just whack a piece of collage in. So that is how I make these pages with fairly much two pens and then I'm sticking in pieces of experiment and torn up old drawings and just creating a complex interesting surface and it's a way of making art which I really enjoy.